What's happening people, welcome back to the Sharp Dev YouTube channel and as you can tell by the title, Graham Murray has either resigned or been sacked in his role at Rangers Football Club. Before we get into this video, if you could like it, that would be very much appreciated and if you're new around here, please subscribe. After being demolished 5-0 by our rivals, our caretaker, if you want to call him that manager, has now stepped down. I personally heard that he wasn't even going to be in charge after we were defeated 4-0 in the semi-final but that was refused by the club when he tried to resign. I guess that this time they just couldn't, they couldn't let it go any longer after that shit show on Sunday. Firstly, I would like to sit here and wish Graham Murray all the best in his future endeavours. I think that he did try his best for the football club but ultimately he just wasn't anywhere near close good enough. The first thing that I do want to speak about is some of the treatment that Graham Murray has been getting. He's not helped himself by making the like Andy Hardy substitution, by coming out in his press conference saying that he wants a job after being pumped, by saying that he doesn't need to prove anything. He's definitely not helped himself. However, I'm just sitting here and I feel like it's been taken a wee bit too far. Everybody can say, yeah, he took the job. Of course you're going to take the job. If somebody sat down next to you right now and says, right, we're going to fucking quadruple your wages. You're going to be given, you're going to be given your first management job at a massive club. You are going to take it 10 times out of 10. You're in the wrong business if you don't take that job. In the beginning, he may have done a better job than Warburton and Kashinia, but his inexperience started to show. And I think it showed the most and one of the most alarming times that it showed is when Brendan Rodgers made that substitution, brought on Edward and Graham Murray stood there waiting and waiting and waiting and then Edward scored and the rest is history. So back to the board, I personally think that when they knew they were sat in Pedro Cachinha, they should have already had contingency plans, they should have already had a fucking list of managers that they wanted to go and target and they should have done it immediately afterwards. However, what did they do? They waited eight weeks and then they approached Derek McInnes who was like, no chance. So that meant that we were only left with one option and that was Graham Murray. The board completely left the guy out to dry. I'm looking at some of his press conferences as well and I'm just wondering to myself, did anybody even brief this guy on what to say? Because he's completely making himself into a villain with some of the stuff that he has said. I don't know if he's went against what he's been told to say, but he definitely came out and said some some stupid shit. For example, the one where he just said at the old fun match when he said he doesn't need to prove himself, but the players need to prove himself. Obviously, he did deserve some criticism because he was a full time manager. He definitely did deserve that. And when you take a job, you can't be expecting not to get criticism when you're not performing well. But as I say, as a board. The board definitely left him out to dry, that's just my opinion, let me know what you think in the comments section below. So it looks like it's a full going conclusion that Steven Gerrard will be the next manager of Rangers, it is another project, he has been the under 18's manager of Liverpool for one season, a lot of people saying that he did really really well down there, however one year in coaching, mm, of course I'm going to give the manager 100% backing like I always do, I'm an absolute fool and I will back People that are loyal to my football club till the end. I've always done it and I always will do it. So Stevie G, he's been spotted at Glasgow Airport. The discussions are well underway. Rangers, please give this guy everything. Everything he wants, just give him it. We can't be getting embarrassed again when Steven Gerrard turns around and says no. That would be highly, highly embarrassing. He's have embarrassed us enough. Don't do it again. Give the guy what he wants. If he's a man that he's want, Bring him in, give him what he wants, give him the funds, if he's have got the funds, and let's go to town. Let's start building, let's start progressing, getting better as an establishment from top to bottom. The under 17, shout out to them, they just hammered Celtic 3-0 in the youth cup final, so obviously some things are going well at the club, maybe in the youth department. So let's just start building on that, let's let, let it transpire into the first team, and we need to because we're a shit show right now. We're about fourth best in the country. So that's that. Just thought I'd jump on here nice and quickly, announce that, give my opinions, get involved in the comment section below. Next season and during the World Cup, I'm hoping to make some good content that I really do enjoy watching. As I said in the last video, the Rangers vlogs, I think, are a wee bit past it. If I can like up the production on those videos, then I will continue to make those videos. But I do enjoy making videos out with Rangers a whole lot more in terms of a matchday vlog. I really enjoy going to the match and just watching it. 
and being there. Do you know what I mean? Rather than trying to capture shit and stuff like that. So that is going to be that. Thanks for all the support and the most recent videos. I've really, really appreciated it. And I hope to just keep giving back to you guys as long as you guys keep interacting with me. Right, that is everything said. I'll see you in the next one. And I'm out.